What is the root of all evil? <laughs> is there such thing as all evil? I pondered this worn out, torn down idea for a long time. For some reason when I turned on the camera here at the park, I just it's the first thing that popped into my mind. It's not even what I was gonna take talk about. But looking around at everything and just seeing all the good <laughs> in the world. I start asking myself, you know, what isn't good? You know, what is the bad? You know, what are the things that we fear? And I'm not ignorant to the fact that we live in a world that's scary for a lot of people. And uh, there's a lot of crime. There's a lot of murder, a lot of mayhem. Can't deny that. But uh, overall, I think we live in a pretty fantastic place. I really do. I mean, <laughs> without sounding like I'm just, you know, all just looking at things through rose-colored glasses. You know, I've suffered my share of hardships. I don't know. I think that we all take it for what it is, you know. We have our own opinions about what's important in life. And we express that in our own ways as individuals. We go through hardships and we see other people being wronged and we get wronged by ourselves. And then we start to get an image that everyone's out to get us. And it's just not that way. Most people are good. Most people mean well. Maybe that's just my naivety. I don't know. My interpretation of the world. It's a safe place. It just depends on how you perceive safety. You could have safety in numbers, or you could have safety as an individual. You could find safety among, you know, a religion or solace among a belief system or among friends or family or trying to find out, I don't know, I guess something that you can hang on to. But ultimately we all know we're by ourselves, you know. We've got our families, our loved ones. But uh, we live a life uh, with our own thoughts and only we are in our own minds and only we can perceive. <laughs> there's two selves, there's the self we see and the self that we, uh, not the self we show the world, but the, the the side that the world sees in us, that we, you know, that we don't see in ourselves. And uh, I guess the goal is to kind of shore up that difference and figure out how to see yourself, how others see you, so you're not stuck in a rut. Right, Juno? And by stuck in a rut, I mean seeing yourself for the good and the bad, and, 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 and in that sense, you you start to see the things in ourself that we consider bad or evil, and we start to laugh at them, you know, and realize that it's all part of this system, this perfect system. It's always worked. If it didn't work, we never would have made it this far. We have too many expectations of each other. We have too many expectations based on what we want. Like, you know, heard Manly Hall saying earlier, you know, we expect 350 million people, you know, they all expect to have the government <laughs> working on their behalf, but we all have totally different special interests and values. And uh, this kind of sets us apart from other animals in the sense that we have, you know, so many different needs that there can't be just one simple natural law for mankind. But we do try to simplify it. And, uh, you know, there's a redneck screaming that the liberals are idiots, and then there's some kind of educated liberal moron screaming how, you know, the conservatives are ruining the country, and really it's just people. It's just people with bad ideas. People without any real insight into what's important, so. And who am I to judge? Just another man walking along with my dog, enjoying the world, seeing the smallest things as the largest details. And that's what's important to me, to not fool myself, to not think that the little things don't matter, because they do. And every little thing starts to matter so much that pretty soon there is no line between good and evil. And you realize that evil acts are usually due to ignorance. 
but that the universe could give less of a shit <laughs> in the long run. It's a big picture to see, and it's difficult to grasp. I can't even come to terms with the size of our galaxy, let alone the, you know, multitude of them out there. So, I'll do my best. Slowly moving forward in this world, best I can. I don't have it all figured out, that's for sure, and I never expect to. I don't have any illusions about who I am or what I'm here to do. I realize that everything that I want to do in my life is within my own power. And that by seeing divisions in myself and my world, by being dualist in any part of my life, it causes me to fail to see the bigger picture and I miss something. I guess another way to say it would be embrace the darkness. You don't have to have darkness within yourself. But you have to understand that it's part of this world. And I definitely don't want to sound like I'm defending bad acts. Because there are natural laws and there are consequences for breaking those laws. We know that. And we suffer those consequences when we do. as individuals and as groups. Our failure to see the bigger picture is what holds us back. But we're not destined to understand that bigger picture. It's not meant for us. Maybe one day, 